I have no clue what I just watched. So Ari Aster is an absolutely phenomenal filmmaker. He really is. And he has proven he is a great writer. Hereditary, Midsommar, Midsommar, Midsommar. People say it differently. Now, Bo is Afraid, I saw this based solely on, you know, it was an Ari Aster film and it starred Joaquin Phoenix. And that man is a brilliant actor. And the trailers made it look like this was going to be very, very interesting. Unfortunately, it's not i'm not really sure how to describe bo is afraid because it's not funny enough to be a comedy it's not scary enough to be horror or even a thriller and it's certainly not emotional enough to be a drama i feel like astor tried to squeeze all of that into one movie and it doesn't really work he tries to tell a story about grief and guilt, and stress, and toxic relationships, but it drags on for so long, it just means nothing. And if I'm being honest, there are points in the film where I almost fell asleep. Because Aster, he likes his long, drawn-out shots and monologues, and there's quite a few of those, and... At least one of them, I, I actually think I might have fallen asleep. I mean, Joaquin Phoenix is absolutely amazing. He is brilliant in this movie. He really took whatever the hell that was given to him, and he made it his own. Both Amy Ryan and Nathan Lane, the legendary Nathan Lane, in small parts, but they're great. They are fantastic. I kind of wish they were in the whole movie. Parker Posey shows up out of completely nowhere, and she's good in the little bit that we get to see her in, and again, I wish she was in more of it too. But even if they were, I don't know if it would have helped. Like, Bo is Afraid is brilliantly made. It's beautifully shot. It's greatly acted. The cinematography is amazing. It's, it's a beautifully made film. Unfortunately... It's not enough to make a good movie. Ultimately, Ari Aster, he tried too much with Bo is Afraid, I think. He tried to make it more than one genre, which it can work, but when you try to stuff so much into it, it just, it doesn't. And that about three hours long, I just, it drags, it really drags very badly. And, like, there are twists and turns everywhere that I feel like are there to keep you interested, but they're not that interesting. The big reveal of Bo's father, it's very Ari Aster. Like, it's very Ari Aster. Same thing with the ending. Like, the ending ending. But you're just, you're sitting there. I'm sitting there, scratching my head, wondering what the hell am I looking at? What the hell is going on? I don't know what the fuck I watched. I give Bo is Afraid only because it is brilliantly made, just not written or executed. I give it a D. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.